Hey, Fiber Hall Michelle. This is number two with the political stuff that some of you may not want to hear. You know, I'm feeling better if I'm fighting back. Uh, Obama's message was on television today, and you know, it was nice not to hear a president like uh, saying everything wrong and using expressions that didn't mean anything. But you know what? He really appealed to America. And that frightens me. To the Americans that say, we're number one. You know, if you go to Europe, they know how to speak three, four, five languages. Come on, we're lucky if we speak two, okay? So how are we number one in that? You know, we got to give people credit. This is a big, wide world. And I'm not putting America down. I love America. So you idiots that say, well, if you don't love it, leave it. Oh, go and you know what to yourself. I'm just saying, educate yourself. And I know this because I have a family that none of them has been to college, okay? Um, a few of them have finished high school. I wasn't one of them, but I am writing a book. It's called Logic from a High School Dropout, and yes, it is copyrighted. I'll read you some pages from that soon, and uh, I do have some interest in it. I also am writing a screenplay about being a Mormon in a small town and being totally ostracized by Christians that are supposed to be Christians. Christianity. What is Christianity really? It's, it's loving yourself, loving others, and taking care of people without judgment. That's what it is in my heart. And Fiber Hall Michelle feels that way about all you guys. So, anyway. Okay, so here's the political part. People are just going against Obama. Be, you know, he's been in there 60 days, okay? Someone like my mother, okay? She, um, 20 years older than me. I'm 42. She's 62. She's held down a job uh, for the first time in her life. I think it's been about eight, nine years. And her first job, Walmart, guys. Corporation Walmart with the blue shirts and the people doing the, um, you know, yay, the cheers or whatever. And it's good, and it gives people a living, and it's been good for her. And I'm not saying it's that bad, but they do brainwash you. And they are Republicans, because they do not want a union. And they let you know that, that they're your world, and they're who's going to take care of you. But really, they're doing that while they're taking your health benefits and not helping you out and when you go to your hometowns and go down the streets they're empty they're bare empty because none of the mama pops can uh, keep up with it but that small town usa which a lot of you don't know about because you don't travel you stay where you are and it's like i know people that were born in fort lauderdale and may maybe they went to key west but you know what i challenge you Go somewhere that you wouldn't normally want to go, even if it's in your own town. If you're a gay person, go to a straight bar, a redneck bar, and talk to these people. Show them, you know, we're not so damn different from you. We're the same type. Uh, if you're gay, do the same thing. Go to a straight bar. Talk to somebody. Show that you're alike, but try to open people's minds and... You know, America is number one in a lot of things, but mostly America is number one because they haven't looked into anything else. Like, you know, my mom, um, she heard on a commercial that drinking apple juice, apple juice was the thing that was going to make her better. But, you know, when we talked to her about it, well, it's got a lot of sugar apple juice. It, it wasn't strained, and it's just a regular apple juice with a lot of sugar which really when she read the article was like an apple a day is good because it's got the fiber and that type of thing but you know you really okay here I'm going off again but you really can't you know listen to shit today I heard steaks were really good for you and yesterday they were really bad for you and drinking too much water is good for you and now drinking too much water is bad for you but you know people everything in moderation use your brain do not listen to everybody else use your brain logic okay use your logic 
from a high school dropout or from wherever we come from. My mother that works at Walmart from a small town that's never traveled except when we took her anywhere. Then she didn't talk to anybody outside her circle. Well, just, you know, remember that and know that you have to open up your circle and talk to different people and learn different things and see how people look at things. And you'll see there's a lot of differences, but you'll see a lot of similarities. And you'll see that people aren't scary, even if they're another color or a different race or a different religion. And when you start fighting about God, start asking questions of yourself. Who's God? What God? Where is God? And why do those people fight for God while you're fighting for your God? Ask questions of yourself, your religion, your work, of what you hear on TV. Don't just listen to O'Reilly or Rush Limbaugh and think that's the only thing. Listen to the other programs. And even if you don't believe them, listen. You might learn something. I listen to all of them. I will always have my sense of self and take what I think into myself. But you need to do the same thing. Put yourself out there. Do something you wouldn't ordinarily do and encourage other people to also. All right, this is... Michelle from my fiberhell.com. See ya. Bye.